Hey, how's it going, Groovers? Welcome back for 2023. Giving this another twirl. Walking around the garden every now and then, showing you what's going on, showing me what's going on for further reference. And um, yeah, basically, it's a bit of a, a garden diary. We'll see what else becomes of it. Got a few ideas for for selling some of the good stuff up here, some of the some of the stuff like the curry leaves and that that we've got going, and and the uh, papayas and stuff. So stay tuned for what happens there. Very soon up on uh, eBay, you'll be able to find me selling all that stuff. But uh, I'll I'll let you know then. Anyway, let's go for a bit of a spin around the uh, spin around the garden. See what what's happened since uh, last March. March, believe it or not, incredible. I've got to try to uh, ignore some of the the landmines the dogs have left for me here. But you can see it's, it's got pretty green. Got some new trees in. Those papayas will be taken off soon here in the in the middle. You can see this one over here is pretty damn happy. Looking real good. And uh, these two in here actually ones that this was one tree and it broke off so I stuck the top in now hang on that was the top and that was the bottom of it of the root and you can see it's getting a pretty good trunk there I don't know about the rest of it I broke that part off but uh, anyway yet another one of my little experiments with trees this one's looking all right. So yeah, got the old papayas going there. Actually, it looks like a minus some type of. I don't know if it's a moth on it. Had a bit of rain lately. There's a frangy there. So we've got the frangy there. Oh, be some really good shade. All this will be shaded within the next year or so. So it's going to be unreal. Got the papayas there. Come around to the gingers. Rubber trees starting to really kick in now. Looking good, looking good. And uh, around we come to one of the many pineapples. I think I've got about 30 pineapples growing at the moment. There we go with the pineapples. Another fringe all you going there. There's the other fringe penny there. And then this one, don't know what's happened here. Maybe it just needs a bit of breaking off. I think something's tried to something's eaten this one. That might come out that papaya. But uh, you can see that the uh, fringe of penny there is looking really good anyway, so. We'll see how this one goes. Not going to be too heartbreaking if this papaya there has to be ripped out. Got another one there. More pineapple. This frangia penny's finally made its uh, comeback. So I'll do another video. I don't know. Maybe three or four months. Give it some time. Maybe I should just do a monthly one to see how quick everything's grown. Future reference. I'm starting to try to shade all that there too. Um, yeah, just get a bit of privacy going there. Over here I've got uh, Papayaville as well. Once these actually uh, get to the height I want, I'm going to cut the heads off them. So they stay at a bit of a shorter height. And uh, there you go, you can see this, these ones over here. Looking pretty speck. Looking pretty speck over there. So is this one. So we're going in there. What else we got here? We have sweet potatoes taken off. They take off pretty good. More papaya. There's a lizard. Um, I don't know about this capsicum. We'll see how she goes. A couple more frangies that are being rescued. These dragon plants that I've got everywhere are pretty cool. I'll show you something else just so we can uh, have a look at this in a few months. That's where all the pineapples are starting to take off. All pineapple. And 
and as you can see there the passion fruit's really hitting its stride nice big ones starting to take off after the rain flowers everywhere looking really good this passion fruit and I've only given it sea sole I think twice so uh, there you go they got those taken off so they're starting to get their fruit hopefully so that fruit I could see that was crappy and that one was crappy too so this is a true experiment with the papayas because uh, as far as I know they're a bit of a hit and miss if you get lucky you're laughing and if you don't you just uh, you plant some more got some growing in there anyone knows what type of uh, variety this papaya is just by looking at it feel free to let me know I love finding out new things about the old garden here so as you can see that's that's a pretty good size of uh, pretty good size for Sammy Davis balls right there I think that's a uh, that's Sammy Davis balls pre-kick in the nuts and also uh, so yeah they're grown in clumps which is interesting lots of clumps the more I look around the more of them I see quite a few here so uh, you can see the papaya kicking on really kicking on there yet another bloody uh, yet another frangy and another papaya next to it over here we've got the uh, dancing ghost pity the leaves aren't on it right now chili looking really good I mean full as yellow so I'm thinking the rain's kind of washed it out a bit but you know it's a chili plant and it's it's provided a whole heap of new banana trees coming up this one is looking pretty spectacular that might be the best banana tree I've had so far just looks so good really you got this one in here little bugger in there and you got those in there so a uh, couple of leaves need a bit of pruning at the moment more papaya can't get enough of them you got to try at least if half of them don't do anything I won't be too worried you know what I mean Charlie there we go got some more chilies going in there so that's gonna take off as soon as this one stops will be pretty damn cool so uh, here we go the old backyard and uh, whatever that thing is I don't know someone tell me what that is I probably know what it is needs a bit of a revamp but the old, uh, old butterfly gingers are starting to like it out here let's give a nice bit of greenery everywhere and the, uh, the ferns have really come up which is quite surprising that they didn't get all burnt see more passion fruit in here but these all these ferns that have taken off all I did was pull the pots out a bit and they seem to have just given them that bit of shade that they needed so that's pretty cool greens it all up without having to try too hard um, you can see there that passion fruit on this side they're everywhere I mean, they're literally everywhere. Look at them. So that was another one. I think that one was coming up in the front garden. I pulled it out, chucked it in, and away you go. Massive. When you open these up, actually, when you open these um, these passion fruit up, you can see how big it is on my hand. Oh, hang on, can you? Hang on. Oh, 
And so you can see that's a big, that's pretty big, about tennis ball size nearly. And um, you open it up and you crack it and it's like an egg. It just pours out, passion fruit. Pours out. Fantastic they are. So there we go, and there's the, uh, yeah, I mean all these ferns in here take you right off. Be interesting when I do a video this time next year whether they're still there. So they're just giving that nice, nice little bit there of greenery. Came up by themselves. Over here is my, a couple of experiments. Uh, French penny's finally taken off so that's going to be pretty happy soon. There's a little lady beetle there. Yet another bloody papaya. It's a curry tree which is kind of taken off. I'm not too worried about that since I've got the big one out the front. But uh, down here, it's actually a lychee. I just chucked some seeds in this um, pot here and one of them came up and it's looking pretty healthy. And I've been watching some guys, a guy the other day who had them in a pot and they looked pretty good. So uh, that'll come out and go in its, in its own bigger pot in the next uh, couple of months. I want the trunk to get kind of, you know, tough, sturdy before I pull that out because it looks pretty damn healthy and, and pretty happy. So I don't want to annoy it too much, do I? Hey, who wants to do that? That's where we've got the, um, there, there you go, I don't have to, it's a blood navel orange. No. no, it doesn't look like it's about to bud, but we'll see how she goes. Lemon, it's actually the big ones. The Maya lemon. That's a Maya lemon. Hopefully they're gonna kick off in the next six months or so. Hopefully by the end of this year we get some on them. We put them in around um, October. And there you go, there's those. This this bloody French penny here though loves it. Absolutely it's going off. It's getting a bit of this leaf rust on it. I don't know, don't know if that's from all the rain we've just had. So I'll let all these dry out over the next however long we get of a break. Hopefully it doesn't rain for, for a few more days and it can dry up a bit. And uh, there's the pool area. Kind of getting that going now with those dragon plants that are over there. Got some other plants going there, a couple of papaya, got some passion fruits. Actually take this opportunity to we'll see how these go these are three passion fruit cuttings I just chucked in and you can see they they got flowers on so I'm expecting them to do pretty good not necessarily there they can't have enough passion fruits no such thing as too many and uh, yeah over there is the uh, dragon tree so these should take off. Probably put a few more around here. Look, look good against the fence. So maybe uh, two or three more. Two or three more of those. There's another banana. Actually there's a couple of bananas in there. But I'm not touching those ones at the moment because they look pretty happy. The pies might come out and go in, go in the garden out the front if I have to pull out some others. These, um, yeah, these bananas though, they might have to come out. Yeah, they, so these bananas, I'm thinking they're gonna maybe come out of the pots. I don't think they're super happy. This one's looking okay, and it's got the little, it's got a little sucker down there. Just coming up finally after a, after a good dose of rain, it's really come up that one. 
but this one over here I'm not too sure it has got that after the rain that leaf just did a weird death for some reason and uh, yeah, it's got that little one coming up next to it which is looking pretty happy so yeah maybe I'll leave them maybe I'll leave them like I said it's all an, it's all an experiment yeah, so that's all an experiment doing all this I don't know what I'm doing it's different up here because uh, different bloody soil the rain's different everything grows faster had a massive crop of tomatoes last year massive crop biggest ever so anyway over here that's the curry tree I'm gonna start I'm gonna have a go at selling some of the the leaves and seeds on eBay and there's people selling them but they all seem to be in Sri Lanka so I couldn't find anyone selling the leaves and the seeds in Australia and um, you know if you're gonna get them from an area you might as well get them from up here where everything's nice and fresh no pollution this is where you want to be getting your curry leaves from if you're going to get your curry leaves but you can see I've, I'm, I'm starting to uh, really get the shape I want on this tree so you can walk in here and you got your little canopy it's not too bad when it rains in here actually because you can get under here and um, yeah I mean check it out like a little tree cave basically good thing about the uh, curry tree is you can shape it you can make the the branches come around and bend on themselves you know like I've got them up here all twisting around just fed them through each other as you do um, yeah I like this spot it's a good view of that mountain over there I still don't know the view of that mountain really nice spot in the morning it's a great uh, great sunrise spot I'll see if I can zoom in doesn't really capture what it looks like but um, yeah it's just nice to sit here and kick back and relax so uh, eventually this should all be shaded I want everything here I want the frangipanis to grow out and give me shade and low canopy basically just a low canopy and um same with same with all the papayas that, that's why i like them because they, they give you just this low canopy and you can also you know you can cut them back cut the heads off keep them at a at any type of height that you want which is cool i've even got some over here so you know they're gonna I'll cut them off so they go just beneath the window so when I look out the bathroom window I can still see out the window like the freak that's behind there now and um, I can still see out but I get all that nice cooling effect from those I think I've got uh, how many banana trees now going five going again at once so it always seems to be about five going at once with the old bananas they just keep on giving and, um, and then you just come around out of the curry. What, what else was there that was different than last year? Oh, yeah. Got these bromeliads. They're starting to really take inside the tree. You can see this needs a good cut back. It's going to get a bit of a cut tomorrow. You know, take some to the markets. Give, give some to the lady at the markets. And um, oh, it's a great smell. I can smell that just from... Mm, I can smell it just from touching it trying to think of some things I can grow here and you know maybe make up other products out of them or just sell things dry or whole but uh, you can see these bromeliads have, have taken off and loving it they've th done really well and they really take to the tree look at this one here growing up into it look at that oh wee that's done well that one Nice bunch there. Little pups of its own. Little pups coming up everywhere in there actually. So that's the curry tree. Hopefully the curry tree will come out 
I've always wanted it to come out about to here. Alright, so past the um, just past the air conditioning um, unit, really. That's where I'd like it to come out, so I'll get a massive, nice um, canopy from it. I can sit under and have some beers and maybe roll the TV out here and watch some TV under the, the canopy there while I'm looking up at that uh, a good view of the mountain. Nearly the right time of day to get it. It's even like this at sunset. So, uh, there you go. So there you go, people. Quick look around, quick update for the uh, re-emergence of uh, Tropical Oz Garden. Sorry, I'm just looking around for more dog mines because they are around. Um, yeah, that's the re-emergence of Tropical Oz Garden. I don't know where this is going to take me but I, I want to do something just because I've realised how quick everything grows so it's a good idea to keep a diary and like I originally said if I can get around and look at other people's gardens up here and show off their gardens and talk to some of the people at nurseries and that even better so uh, you know if you made it for, to uh, this this far in the video thanks for stopping by thanks for having a look um, Stay tuned for further updates and uh, I'll let you know when I've got some stuff going on eBay. Some uh, some healthy food products. Let's call them that, eh? Because that's the way to go. And uh, anyway, till then. It's weird now talking to a camera like this, this close. But uh, anyway, talk to you soon. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.